Hi, Ray Lawyer. Um, those were great thoughts that you shared. Having undergone a family tragedy last year, our family has been faced with the harsh reality of how quickly our happy little lives can have the bottom jerked out from under them. One person's poor choices have set the rest of us on a course over which we have no control. But it has taught us a lot of lessons, exactly what your message talked about. You encourage people to go out and cross something off their bucket list this week. And I actually did that this past Monday, or at least I was able to help my daughter-in-law, Rachel, to do that. The two of us and my three oldest granddaughters were on a family trip from Virginia to Connecticut and New Jersey to see some aging relatives. We were on a pretty tight budget. Somehow our conversation turned to New York City, and Rachel mentioned how she'd always wanted to go there. Well, I'm a spontaneous person, and since we were going to be passing the area anyway, I said, let's do it. On Monday, the five of us hopped a train from a suburb north of New York City and headed into Grand Central Station. From there, we walked down to Times Square. It was a treat watching my family just soak in all the sights and the sounds of the city. We let the kids ride the Ferris wheel inside the Toys R Us uh, at Times Square, and then we headed out to explore Central Park for a while. We left the park after dark and managed to somehow unintentionally find the worst pizza place in the area. Um, after our pizza fiasco, we found our way to the right subway station, took the A route to Brooklyn, and enjoyed a leisurely walk across the Brooklyn Bridge just after midnight. Looking out and getting a glimpse of Lady Liberty uh, standing out there in the water with her torch burning brightly in the distance. It was just a reminder to us of the freedoms that we all so often take for granted. Uh, we got done with the bridge and a short walk took us to the number six, which took us back to Grand Central. We literally had to run to catch the last train out of Grand Central Station just before 2 a.m. so that we could head back to where we'd park the car in the Merrimack. We all had a blast, and I was thankful to have helped my sweet daughter-in-law mark one more thing off of her list. The extra time and money it cost us was a small price to pay for the memories that we'll cherish for years to come. Thanks again, Road Warrior, for sharing your thoughts and for defending the freedoms that I so gratefully enjoy. I appreciate your posts.